it's goddess cecilia welcome to dive deeper now you might be wondering hmm i wonder what the largest sex organ is and i'm sure there's plenty of things that are going through your mind right now as far as who might have the largest but let me tell you the largest sex organ is actually our skin the skin encompasses our entire body and there's so many nerve endings hair follicles that let us clue in to what feels soft hard good annoying for many people touching their own skin can feel extremely pleasurable and i'm not just talking with something that is already meant to be pleasurable like massage or spanking which encompasses some of the pain and pleasure aspects that we could feel in our skin touch is one of the most important aspects of care of emotion of pleasure as humans or as mers touch is really essential to whether or not we as creatures thrive and evolve for some people there are different areas of their skin that becomes more of an erogenous zone some people really enjoy kissing and touching on the neck soft caresses on the skin scratching or biting even things like needle play all of those interact with how we enjoy our skin i know that there are some people out there who aren't super comfortable literally in their own skin they might not actually enjoy massage they might not actually enjoy even putting lotion on their body because it feels like too much for them some people have really sensitive skin where they can't really handle extreme temperatures for example some people really enjoy all of those things that i just mentioned what's really important is that you want to talk to your partners involved with any play potentially learn what kind of sensations you may be interested in and then be able to communicate that with your partners so that they'll know exactly how to tease and tantalize the skin that you're in there are some people who even believe that goosebumps that feeling that you get where it feels almost like your skin gets raised some people believe that goosebumps are sort of skin orgasms isn't that interesting? What do you think? Imagine every time that you get a goosebump, you're like, ooh, my skin is orgasming. <laughs> it would be a very interesting situation in a lot of ways. But a lot of people assume that like orgasm always has to do with like sex all the time. But people have food gasm and it's not necessarily related to sex. It's all related to all of the pleasure hormones that get released by our brain. So next time you're about to engage in some fun, sexy play, either solo play or with a partner, take notice of all the sensations that you might be feeling on your skin. Is one area feeling a little more sensitive? Is one area feeling like, mm, it doesn't really wanna be touched right now? Pay attention, take note. It might change the next time that you play, or it might be something that is more of a regular sensation for you. But being in touch with all of those sensations on your skin can just increase all of your levels of pleasure and help you be much more in tune with your body. If you want to explore your pleasures, head on over to goddesscecilia.com.